push. Hi, this is Lucy, and today I'll be showing you how to make a twirl. It's called a twirl because at, at, at the front it looks like swirls. But don't blame me if it goes wrong because my friend is actually doing it today. Right, so you start with your empty loom, band, loom board. And it's strictly important that you always start not with you, you can see on the hook says ends it has to be if I turn it around use so my friend's actually going to do it as use so you're going to see it as ends right so first you um get your bands and you put it all along here just watch it along the middle along the side it doesn't really matter Pink wasn't the best colour because you can't really see it against the floor. Right, so you just, um, I apologise if it's a bit blurry or wobbly. It's because my friend is very, very, very fast and you can hardly see the pink along it. But you could see that. Yeah, like that. I need one more like that. Just move your finger. Right, yeah, like that. So yours should look like that. And now you get your hook and you press it all down. Very simple. And now, if you've never heard of cat bands, where have you been? I mean, um, cat bands are just, right, so my friend will just quickly make one. Right, that's the way she does it. I do it with one finger so all you need to do is wrap it one round twice and then put it on there like that like that this bracelet is very simple but quite fiddly at the right times so it's quite um advanced but very easy for you know beginners right I'll show you how I do my cat bands if I can right so you get the cat band and then you just twist it so <laughs> I can't do it free. Right, so you just twist it around your finger. Anyway, I think free, my friends, it way is easier. Three little hooks, pegs, even. So you put it on every band, so every hook along the Right, now you turn it so that it's the M way. So it's U2. This is the tricky bit. So, wait, I can't, right there. So you put it in upside down, kind of, push past the red and pull the pink out. Pull over and then hook over the other one. And then push past the red, pull pink out, and push over. Stop it a minute. Right, so it should look kind of like a... Um, it should just look like that compared to the, those straight, then twisted. So push past the red, pull pink out and hook over at the next hook. Push past the red, uh, push past the red, pull the pink out, hook over and then hook over the other one and release. And then you do the same until you get to the end. Then you pull, pull it out so I'm not going to go to that yet that's a tricky bit
so right I'll do it very slowly now so push it past the red grab the pink and push it up and then you hook it over there so it should look like this right now I'm going to show you how to pull it off can I pull it off fine um, you go underneath it or my way is definitely easier all you do is just pull the pink one off leave the red one behind just on the first one and then you just pull them all off it's very simple you can do it with your fingers as well which makes it even better don't flip me in the face please <laughs> Whatever you do, do not let go of it. Whatever you do, do not let go of it. Otherwise, it will turn out <laughs> like this and go all rubbish. I should have told you that at the beginning, so you didn't when it when you got to the end. But anyway, just carry on. And that's your last one. And then your right. So it should look like that. My camera isn't very focused, but you can see that there's actually swirls. <clears throat> swirls, like, there. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment. If you have any issues, please leave a comment. And, um, yeah, well, thank you. Bye.